Marcito Gesta. So, man, um, again, it's hard opportunity here. To imagine that it will come this way, that um, I would imagine as a fighter, you see the title shot coming, you're undefeated, you're on top of your game, you're considered the best fighter in the world when you get the title shot. And right now it's kind of like, um, maybe some people will say it's a do or die situation. Did, did you think the title shot was going to come in this form, in this fashion? You know, I'm just, it's just a matter of waiting for me. It's just, it's just happening that, you know, uh, I've got some, you know, what happened, the issues, like, and also like the injuries and stuff. That's why it took me a while too. But after that first title shot I've got, you know, unfortunately, you know, I didn't get that. But um, I know I'm gonna have another one, but it's a matter of when. And it took me a while, it took me five years to be exactly. Uh, also one factor that plays onto that one the reason why it took so long because of some injuries you know, but, um, yeah but you know what that I love about this next you know, my, my, this this fight and you know Jorge Linares is uh, you know, one of the best like especially like, technician but so um, and I love challenges like this and now that I'm working with Freddy and I'm here at the ball you know, I'm, I feel like I'm ready and I still need to have more to do, but I'm really excited about this fight. Are you going to take advantage of this title shot compared to the Miguel Vasquez one? Um, what, what did you learn from that fight? I know it was like you said five years ago, so much has happened since you've had the injuries, the setbacks. But um, what do you think is going to be different in, in this, this time around? You know, I've, I've learned a lot, not just uh, not just in boxing skill, but experience through um, uh, in life and how to accept also that. And I feel like uh, I, I feel like it's a, it's a blessing too. You know, that happened because uh, I've learned a lot after that, and you know, and also you know, we make sure next time we if we by someone that has similar the same similar uh, style as Vasquez, we need to make sure what what we need to do because uh, you know obviously that's not that's not a good game plan what I did over there. So um, I, I have something for this fight and also if in case if I'm gonna face someone the same as Vasquez, it's gonna be different. When you first started off, I would imagine there was that pressure. Maybe you didn't feel it at all, but the fans were, oh, the next Manny Pacquiao right away when you see the Filipino fighter. But now, as you're saying, after the five years in between title shots, you've learned to accept, learning to accept that you are who you are as a fighter, that maybe you weren't as fast as you thought you were. Maybe you had to be smarter. Maybe you, you can't be as strong. Those adjustments that you have to make, learning to accept the fighter that you are, was that a little bit difficult? And at times, like learning to know who you really are as a fighter, um, getting to know yourself better. You know what? I, I already know myself, but um, like you said, like when people compare, it's a little pressure in that compared to Pacquiao and stuff. So you but felt I, that pressure, a little pressure. A little pressure in that, but at the end of the day, I always trying to think that it is me. It is not Manny. It is me. I was fighting. Mm -hmm. uh, um, of course, I want to give the fans, especially Filipino fans, what they want to see and what they expect. But you know. Like I've said, I can't be mad. He's a different kind, different fighter. He's the best, and one of the best in you know many weight division that he's done. And um, for me, I'm just trying to make my own legacy, my own name.